Today on Review This Thing, we're going to review this thing, the Cerakote application process. So if you've bought a gun lately, you may have seen a Cerakote finish as a possible feature to that gun. We also have and wondered what that meant. In the process of figuring out what a Cerakoted finish actually is, we found out I might be able to do it myself, and that's where the adventure began. I've Cerakoted a few things, including this 6.5 Grendel that we built with BIOAR. After Cerakoting this whole gun and a couple of extra projects here and there, I can give the Cerakote application process a pretty thorough review. So let's review this thing. As you guys know, on Review This Thing, we cover the facts. The first part is fit. So this is gonna be quite a long section, so bear with me. If you get boring, just skip ahead. There's two main things in the fit category. The first thing is if you're looking for a great coating, weather protective finish, especially for your firearm, and you don't want to do it yourself, check out the Cerakote website. You're very likely to find a certified applicator near you. We checked it. There's actually four within about an hour radius of us right here. The price on having them do a Cerakote job for you really depends on the job. But I can definitely tell you, unless you already have all the equipment that I'm going to talk about next, especially if you factor in the time and learning curve, having one or two pieces done would be much cheaper done by a local certified applicator. The second thing we want to talk about in fit is if you're like me and like doing things yourself, there's definitely a couple of things you need to know before you go into this process. First of all, it totally can be done. I had no experience using a paint sprayer previous to this, had never used a blasting cabinet, and had really only used a smoker or an oven to cook this. But I think this gun came out looking pretty sweet. You can search YouTube for the Cerakote process and find all kinds of shortcuts and videos, but we wanted to give you a full review of the process, so we took their steps and followed them step by step to give you this review. I highly recommend you follow their steps as well if you want the lasting and durable finish that they promote. Now, having said that, I will definitely say they have ample resources to take care of you throughout the whole process. Obviously, lots of videos from Cerakote on YouTube, plus their customer service is great. They have certified trainers on hand that help answer questions. As a matter of fact, I sent a picture of my first attempt which I thought was pretty good. One of their certified trainers got back to me quickly and just by looking at the picture that I had sent gave me all kind of pointers. Thankfully, he then spent another 45 minutes on the phone with me talking me through the ins and outs of how to take care of it and get a much better finish the second time I tried. And if you're feeling really froggy and wanting to go to Oregon or live close to Oregon, you can take one of their certified applicator courses. Now, as far as that step-by-step -step process we talked about, here's where it can get a little bit costly. First, you have to disassemble your firearm. So if you don't have the tool to do that, you have to either buy the tools or pay someone to do it for you. Then you have to soak the parts in acetone and sandblast them. So if you don't have a sandblasting cabinet with an air compressor big enough to run for a while without burning up a small one, trust me, there's a lot of parts, you have to get an air compressor and a sandblasting cabinet. When you're running the sandblasting cabinet, it also makes a huge difference to have a dust collection system. You also need a shop vac to run that dust collection system. After you sandblast the parts and get them all cleaned up, then you have to gas them out in an oven that will get to at least 275 degrees for two hours or 300 degrees for one hour. And after the whole process, you don't wanna cook in this oven again. So don't go using the oven in your kitchen at home. Now for the fun part of the Cerakote process, spraying the actual coating. You can get a starter kit from Cerakote that comes with everything you'll need. Here's where you'll also need that air compressor again and some sort of paint booth. We created a homemade setup with an outside tent canopy and some walls and had a couple fans for ventilation. Now, those same parts go back in the oven for a couple hours to cure. So thankfully, we already had some of that equipment and we were able to borrow some of the other equipment. But you can pick up most all that stuff at a Harbor Freight or a hardware store. Now, Adrian did the math on it, and if you started from scratch to get everything that you needed for this whole process, it would be about $1,400. So you can see why I say, if you only have a couple of parts that you need coated, it would be much cheaper to have a certified local applicator do it for you. So whether you want someone else to do it for you, or you're okay with the time and expense involved and want to do it yourself, Cerakote has something for you. So we're going to give Fit a five out of five. Now, is the Cerakote process as advertised? The first thing they advertise it has the greatest corrosion resistance in a thin film coating. I have since found out that Cerakote has tons of different applications, but the main thing that got us thinking about it was a firearm. As a matter of fact, if you've been with our channel very long, you've probably seen the CVA Cascade videos. The barrel on that CVA Cascade has a Cerakote finish. We've had that gun for at least a year and a half. It's been out in the rain, it's been in the heat. We've put lots of rounds through that barrel and it has done great. Also, Cerakote has done a ton of testing to test the corrosion resistance on this. All that's listed on their website. So since they've already done it, 
and we definitely don't have any of that fancy stuff for testing. We took this Allen wrench, coated it, and then put it outside in our fire pit. It got rained on several days and in 100 degree temperatures. Took it out, cleaned it up, and it looks great. Keep in mind, if it would normally harm the metal, it can damage the coating. I have dropped this wrench several times. I haven't been able to scratch it yet, but I also haven't been throwing it around. The next thing they advertise is 200 unique colors. We've tried three of their colors, but you can look at their website and see the vast array of colors that they have. The next thing they advertise is consistent coloring, especially compared to anodizing and cold blue. I haven't ever anodized anything, but I have cold blued a couple of different barrels. As long as I did a good job spraying, it was super easy to get the finish consistent across the whole part. From our experience and rather unsophisticated testing methods, we think Cerakote will do what it says it will. So we give, as advertised, a five out of five. And now, on to construction and durability. A couple of really neat things about the construction piece is that there's a ton of colors available. So really, you're only limited by your creativity. And they have complete kits to get you started, so it makes it really easy. Cerakote doesn't contain any heavy metals, so it's safer for the environment and doesn't release any carcinogens. It's a thin film coating. Most of the colors are meant to be applied at one to three mils, which is really thin, but still yet durable. Why this matters is you can take a gun apart, spray each individual part, put it back together, and it still fits. You can even coat threads like we did on this buffer tube and it goes back together just fine. Unless you do like I did with this gas block. It was already a little bit tight anyway, but then I sprayed this barrel a little bit too thick. So when I went to put the gas block back on, I definitely scratched the coating on the outside of the barrel a little bit. I wanna talk again about how accessible the Cerakote trainers are here. I learned a ton in this whole process that I'm not gonna bore you about, but Ken, the Cerakote trainer I mentioned earlier, is the one that taught it to me. So use all of their resources and reach out to them for sure if you have any questions. That way you can make sure that it's done right, you're safe, and you get the finish that you want. Now for durability. We talked a little bit about that in As Advertised, and so far the parts that we've coated have held up really good in our testing. And even shooting this, the coating has held up really well. And you saw where you could find their testing and research videos on their website. If you've had this done before or done it yourself and would like to comment below on how yours has held up, that would help us out a lot. Overall, we've been really pleased with the construction and durability of our Cerakote coating, so we're gonna give that a five out of five. Now, on to testimonials and reviews. Overall, the reviews that we found across several different websites were very high, but you guys know we're gonna show you the low ones and the complaints. Some people said that this process is tedious and very time consuming. Adrian would highly agree with that. It all depends on your perspective. As for me, I thought the process was a lot of fun. I did learn a lot. It did take a lot of time and there were a lot of little pieces to it, but I like that part of the process. Another one said that it blistered. I really don't know what they mean by that. I'm assuming that the finish blistered. Ours has turned out really well and we haven't had any blistering. Another review said that the satin aluminum color specific wasn't glossy. As far as that goes, make sure you check the tech data sheet for that color. The satin aluminum actually says that it's supposed to be eggshell, which wouldn't be very glossy. There are several other colors that are a high gloss, so just check that tech data sheet for whichever color you're working with so you know what kind of finish you're gonna get. A lot of the other negative comments were people that really didn't know what they were buying. Either they didn't know they were gonna have to bake it to cure it, or they didn't know all that was involved in the process before they bought it. Either way, you guys know we're gonna give you the score that we found, and that score of testimonials and reviews was a 4.6 out of five. And now, bringing it home to the part that you wanna know, should I buy this thing? As always, it depends on what you're looking for. Like we said, if you don't have the time, the space, the equipment, or the desire to do it yourself, just pay somebody to do it, to do it for you. Adrienne would definitely say that's the way to go. She'd tell you, not to buy this thing, or make sure the gun that you buy is already Cerakoted. But if you're like me and really enjoy learning the whole process, this might be the way to go for you. So we've told you about all the steps in the process, the equipment that you'll need, and the time that you'll need to learn. I really enjoyed that whole learning process. I'm sure I'll find more things to practice on. So for me, it's really something I'd like to get better at. So as far as scoring goes, Adrian would give this a two out of five, but I would give it a five out of five. And since I'm the one doing the video, my opinion carries more weight. So we're gonna give, should I buy this thing, a 4.75 out of five. Thanks for watching our Cerakote application review video. While you're here, watch a whole bunch of other videos. Like, comment, subscribe, and check us out on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok.